Did you hear that? Right now at 11, people in the northeastern states rattled by an earthquake this morning. Good morning. That earthquake near New York City is our top story. A 4.8 magnitude quake. People in the United Nations building were shocked to feel their room shaking. Earthquake. Earthquake? Yeah. Well, <coughs> education is. You're, you're making the ground shake. <laughs> At the United Nations Security Council meeting, the president of the Save the Children had to pause her speech as the room shook. This mild earthquake struck New Jersey and it could be felt in New York City, Philadelphia and Washington, D.C. One person we spoke to live this morning described the moment he felt the tremors. All of a sudden, the house just started shaking. It was like a locomotive noise and a rumbling. And then my my teenage daughter came running down the stairs, you know, freaking out. And uh, I go to the floor, and we have a chandelier, and it was just it was moving. And uh, I tell the reporter, I have a, I'm having an earthquake. And then two seconds later, in New York, where his apartment was, he said, "My apartment's shaking. I got to go." So it was. Uh, I mean, a 4.7 to a Californian or anyone else living through normal earthquakes, probably nothing. But for someone in the Northeast that's never experienced anything like this, it, it was rattling. All is still now and no reports of injuries, but very unsettling. Let's bring in CBS2 meteorologist Ed Curran with more on the earthquake. Yeah, and it's certainly not unheard of in that area, but this is a little bit stronger than what they normally would see. A magnitude now of 4.8 is what they're saying, a depth of about a mile. And uh, it, it happened at about uh, 9.20 in the morning our time. There may have been an aftershock here because we normally go yellow as it starts to get older. Now we've just had one pop up here. So this is magnitude, uh, magnitude 2.0 with a depth of 5 miles. So this is an aftershock that just happened uh, after the first one. So that's kind of interesting. Uh, it's across the Ramapo Fault is what it's called. It goes from Haverstraw, New York, down to Schaeferstown, Pennsylvania. It shook along this area at a little area called White House Station, New Jersey. Uh, it's not unheard of for this fault to cause earthquakes. The last one was just a month or so ago, but it was only a two, which is the second one we just saw there, a two. But to have a 4.8 kind of gets people's attention. Jim? Sure does. Thank you, 